this is the toughest rowing race in the world. And I'd ask anybody to challenge that statement. I quite like setting myself a challenge and ultimately this is a pretty epic challenge. I've done a lot of tough things, but I know for a fact that this is going to be far worse than that. If you go out too hard, if you get your navigation wrong, if you're not paying attention, you can very easily end up on the rocks. The tides, the weather, it's Britain for Christ's sakes. But it's a race with a purpose, 2,000 miles around the UK coastline. Our oceans are the front line against climate change, so as the world is getting warmer, we need the oceans to be at their best. But the power of this project is the combination. Collecting invaluable scientific data, microplastic sampling, eDNA, sound, water temperature and salinity. eDNA is taking the genetic material left in the water by animals as they swim past. And so even if you don't see a basking shark, you might pick up the trace of the DNA of the basking shark that swam past recently. This will be the first time it's done in a continuous loop around the UK. So we'll be able to see how the biodiversity and the species changes over time so we can start to look at the positive things that we can do to restore the oceans. So I'm just very grateful that you're all mad enough to do it. <laughs> do something that's bigger and beyond sport. The expedition, the adventure, the physical challenge, but also having to stay on the ball to collect data in quite a precise way. I have a good element of nerves. I have a good element of excitement. It's daunting, but it's pretty epic. Follow us, get connected with us. We're creating a great virtual platform where you can join us stroke for stroke, and you'll learn so much about what we're doing and the impact we're gonna have.